It's the day after the inauguration and on very little sleep, the Morning Joe team broadcasting from Washington broke down the inaugural address like this. You talk to anyone under the age of 30, they say, what, what is the big deal here? And, and we sit around saying, you know, wow, what a, what a, geez, that was a progressive speech. Wow, boy, was he partisan. I don't think so. I think he looked at the rearview mirror at the past four years and said, you know, listen, you, you know, many of the Republicans, they, they don't want to come to the table. They don't want to deal with me. They don't like me. So here's who I am. <clears throat> this is what I believe. If, Follow me. If only Republicans liked Barack Obama <laughs> as much as Barack Obama liked Republicans. Oh, wait a second. No, I just don't think he does, Mika. Well, hold on. Other than me, of course. <laughs> no, I, 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 I don't want to hear it. I've seen you two together, uh, and it works. You want to know where it doesn't work? <laughs> when, you have, when you have someone like John Boehner or Mitch McConnell not coming to anything, not coming to anything, or going to one state dinner and not even staying to shake his hand. I mean, come on. There were some, uh, I think, not so veiled shots at Republicans in that speech. I think him taking on Paul Ryan's language of a nation of takers, for instance, and, and rejecting that pretty thoroughly uh, was, was, was one of those. But I think it's a mistake generally to look at this speech as, as one that's about Obama versus the Republicans. I think this is Obama looking at the, the big sweep of history and trying to figure out you know, how his presidency should be judged and, and, and finding an ideological framework for, for his governing uh, values. And, and I think in, in that respect, this was a much more progressive speech than most people expected, at least certainly much more progressive than I expected. Uh, and I think invoking the, the anti-establishment movements and protests at Seneca Falls, at Stonewall, and at Selma, uh, particularly Selma, I think, I mean, Stonewall's getting a lot of attention because it's one of the first mentions of, of, a, of a gay rights movement uh, in, in an inaugural address. But, but Selma, I think, is a really important moment in, in American history because you, you actually have what, what amounts to open warfare in the streets where you've got nonviolent protesters being attacked by, by the political establishment, um, you know, children being, being attacked. Uh, that, that, that these types of movements are what make the United States a better place, that the government is not always right, that the government needs to be pushed in the right direction, and that he, he views his, his uh, presidency as an extension of those protest movements. That's a very significant moment in American history, I think, when a president reaches out to, to those types of movements. Um, so I, I think that's, that's the right way to look at this speech. Uh, looking at it as Republicans and, and Obama, I think, is, is you know, it's, it's part of the story, but I think it's, it's a, a minor part of, part of the story.